Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica. Thank you so much for clicking the link to watch this video. It has been so long since I filmed a get ready with me slash makeup tutorial or me just doing my full makeup. Usually I've been doing um, reviews. Um, so if you want to see this complete look, sorry. You know when you have an itch and it's not even my hair, it's like the back of my neck. <laughs> um, but if you want to see this full tutorial, then keep on watching. So I'm going to start out using the two transition shades, so Caramel and Morocco. So I'm going to start with Caramel first and I'm just going to go in. So now I'm going to go in with Morocco. Dipping in that same palette, same brush. And this is gonna warm it up dramatically. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with that brown that I showed you guys and just see how this looks. See how, okay. And I'm going to do it in my outer V is just build and I'm using an angled brush and I'm just going to build and then I'm going to kind of cut crease it a little bit in my eye. Okay. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to blend this out with my crease shade to get rid of any harsh lines. I'm going to go back into the Amorezzi palette and I'm going to use Glisten. And I'm just going to blend that out with this little brush and I'm going to blend my halo out. It looks like someone deposited gold on the very center of my eyelids. Halos always look weird until you add lashes and liner. Again, this is a very subtle look. I'm just going to the movies, so I didn't want to put too much makeup on. Because I'm literally going to come home and take it right off. So, just enough to put me, to make me look like I'm together. Alright, so I just did like a light smoky eye with a little bit of a halo. I didn't wet it too much because, um, wet my brush too much because I want to keep this look kind of subdued. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and liner off camera since it takes me forever and then I'll be right back to do the rest of my face. Okay, so I put my lashes on and I'm not sure what foundation I want to use for today. Maybe let's do one that I don't have to mix. Good old um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I'm just going to do two pumps. I'm going to dot it all over my face. Throwback, when I used to do this all the time. I love this foundation because I don't have to mix it and it looks good and it looks good in photos. My favorite beauty sponge, which is the L'Oreal Beauty Sponge. I'm going to blend out my face. To go ahead and use my favorite under eye concealer, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm going to do it under my eyes first. I'm going to let it sit. Get rid of these under eye circles. So I'm going to let it bake right there. Do the same thing right here. There. And my chin. It has been so long since I filmed a video getting just doing my makeup in front of my camera. Normally I'm doing some type of a review, so 
Bear with me, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> and gonna do this. Forehead, forehead. And then what I do is I take the butt of my sponge that has my foundation and I just make sure my forehead is blended. So that's the worst spot. See, now it looks like I'm glowing. Okay. My under eye concealer is still not ready yet. It's a little too wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my Cover FX setting powder set up for me to bake with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. And I'm gonna do use my little cube sponge. Remember, I used to use this sponge um, way back in the day, and it's the only one that I have that is this quality. I got it from a makeup store, but I can't remember which one, and they gave it to me, and I'm like, oh. So I'm just going to press this into the under eye area. So I'm using my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder, and I'm going to go ahead and just powder, lightly powder my face. So this is how much is on my brush, and I'm hoping I can do the at least the bottom half of my face. So, I'm liking how healthy I look with this Makeup Forever foundation. It always makes me look very, it photographs very well. So it makes you look like you have a little extra symptom, but I look super flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my, <clears throat> my contour palette from, who is this? Oh, Black Radiance. And I'm going to use this color to kind of contour my face. This is an ashy color, so I can't remember if I like this or not. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Gosh, it's so much easier just to contour with powder and not have to do the cream contour, set the contour. I forget how many steps that is. It's nice. I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer, and this is gonna really warm up the face. And I'm gonna put it over my contour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the my Black Radiance contour powder again, and I'm just gonna dip this brush that I was using on my eyes, and I'm just gonna go down the sides of my nose and like do my little slices in my nose. And then, I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm just gonna make sure that looks super blended. I'm just gonna add a flush of color to my cheeks. And this is the Buxom um, Blush, True Hue Blush, True Hue, <laughs> this is the Buxom True Hue Blush in the shade Shangri La La. And I've had this for years. This is probably one of the first blushes I actually bought when I started getting into makeup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrow highlight and I'm just going to use this illuminating powder. Oops, got it in my eyebrow. Highlight, ooh, too much, too much. Whoa, whoa there. But that's what I like about this powder, it rubs out really nice, like, you guys saw how much I put on. Take my Sephora, um, highlighter brush and I'm gonna just rub highlighter on my cheeks. Give me that healthy glow. And I'm gonna go over it with fudge. So essentially, I think this is it for the movies. I feel like I started out good, and now I have almost a full face. All right, I just finished up my face. I actually changed my gloss, and I wanted to come back and let you guys know, so that way if you see the thumbnail with me in this, or it might be a different one. Um, this is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the color Black Cherry Tart, and I just wanted something a little bit different that would stand out a little bit. And wow, this is super glossy. I haven't worn this in years, literally. Probably since when I first bought it. <laughs> so this is my final look. I hope you guys like. I just have my hair 
Here, let me drop a little bit. I just have my hair pulled back. I will be doing a review on the hair products that I have been trying and so on my natural hair. So that is also coming back. And yeah. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.